Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use indirect function in a lookup and reference solution. Well, this is the example that I have using my uh, two-way lookup with four solutions. And this is actually the fifth solution that I have for this. And uh, the process will be to put it in a name manager so that the row here for the company should include all of these values. And the column here for the expenses should include all of these values. But uh, there is a problem because in uh, defining a name, there should be uh, no spaces for the actual name. So we have a problem on the company, but on the expenses, these are okay. So I'm going to unhide my uh, helper cell here, which is actually, I'm just removing the spaces on the, the name of the companies. And I'm going to use that in a name manager. Now I'm going to select all of this and then go to formulas here and under the define names, um, click create from selection. And then just choose this top row and left column here and click OK. Then let's check it here under the name manager. Click this name manager here. Now you can see all the defined names that we have, those for the expenses and those for the company. And uh, OK, close it. Now, the next thing is to, uh, again, use a helper cell because in the drop-down list here for the company, we have uh, we use this as our uh, list of our data validation. So, I'm going to use index and uh, match for this so that I will, I'll be able to reflect this uh, company name here in our name manager. So, I'm going to use the index here and I want this values to be the return, the array comma then the row number is a match of course we want this uh, lookup value here for the company comma this uh the lookup array or this uh, company list here comma we want the exact match leave it blank close the match and close the index and enter we have it it's company d then this is the defined name so we're complete with all of our helper cells. Now we can solve this problem using the indirect function. Now that's basically calling the rows and the column. So I'm gonna write indirect here, call first the column, which refers to the company. And I'm gonna refer it here on our defined name here. And then close it, space, and another indirect for the row, which is the expenses. Now the expenses can be directly referred to this uh, data validation for expenses. Close it and enter and that's it. We have this. Now uh, to check it, this is company D and this is speed and this is the amount here. When you change the expenses, okay, this is the amount. Company A, this is the amount and that's uh, working perfectly. Now, that's it. You can live here. That's all the solution that we have. Now, to understand why it works, actually, you can just call the name of the company and the name of the expenses. It's actually calling the row and also the column. Now, because you define the company, you can just uh, call company A, space, the expenses, SSI, for example, because that's a defined name as well. Click enter and there, there you have it. This, you have the same amount here. But of course, this first solution is uh, flexible because we use a data validation for that. You can quickly um, change the company and expenses and the reference here is also working. And that's it for this video. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks.